الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله Our way of understanding Islam should be in accordance with how the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een understood Islam. And this is what the divine text, the divine sources show us from the book of Allah and from the sunnah of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, fi kitabihi al-kareem. وَالسَّابِقُونَ الْأَوَّلُونَ مِنَ الْمُحَاجِرِينَ وَالْأَنصَارِ وَالَّذِينَ يَتَّبِعُهُمْ بِإِحْسَانٍ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُمْ وَرَضُوا عَنْهُ Allah Azza wa Jal says في كتابه الكريم He says وَالسَّابِقُونَ الْأَوَّلُونَ مِنَ الْمُحَاجِرِينَ And those, those who preceded from amongst the muhajireen والأنصار And those who follow them bi ihsan, those who follow them in righteousness. Radiyallahu anhum, Allah is pleased with them. Waradu anhu, and they are pleased with him. Ahabatifillah, if we reflect and contemplate that ayah, we see the importance of the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een and that the sabeel al-mu'mineen, the path of the believers is actually the path of the Sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een and that they were from the muhajireen wal ansar they were the one who preceded us in fadl wa khair wa ilm wa fiqh fi deen and they were the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so if you want Islam Sahih, the correct Islam, then of course that means you will follow the way of the Salaf of this Ummah. You will follow the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in, that this is where you will take your understanding of Islam. And Allah Ta'ala says, Fi kitabihi al -kareem. وَمَنْ يَشَاكِكَ الرَّسُولُ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا تَبَيَّنَ لَهُ هُدَى وَيَتَّبِعْ غَيْرِ السَّبِيلِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ نُوَلِّهِ مَا تَوَلَّى وَنُسْلِهِ جَهَنَّمْ وَسَاءَتْ مَصِيرًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitabih al-Kareem He says whoever differs with the messenger after that guidance has come to them Guidance has been cleared by them. To be in the Huda, guidance has been, has come to him. Will yet tebe gaira sabila mu'minin, and they traverse the path which is other than that of the believers. Then, they will be, we will burn them, uh, in Jahannam. And what an evil destination or ab uh, abode. Habitifillah. Andre la hada aya al karima, in which Allah subhanahu wa taala lets us know that we it's not permissible to differ with the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and that especially after huda, after guidance has been delivered, and then to go there, therefore then to differ with the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his sunnah. Then the reward of that, the result of that is Jahannam, is the hellfire, and to be burned in the hellfire forever. Habatifillah, this is to show that the Sabila Mu'minin again is the path of the Salaf of this Ummah, beginning with the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam, radiyallahu ta'ala anam ajma'in, and that we are ordered as believers to follow that path. If we want success in this life as well as the hereafter, then it's following the path of Sabil al Mu'mineen. It's following the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anam ajma'in. It's not differing with the Sahaba and differing with the path of the believers and traversing new manahij and new methodologies and new ways of understanding. But rather, we have to do our best to adhere to the book and the sunnah and to adhere to the madhab of the salaf of this ummah. 
And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ala nabiyyina Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.